Hey, Chef Neil here, culinary chemist. Welcome back. We are going to talk about something extremely, for me, extremely exciting. It is a, a velouté. What is a velouté? Velouté is one of the grand sauces, one of the mother sauces in French culinary cuisine. You have five basic essential sauces, and the velouté is one of them. We'll get into the others later on. Uh, but the velouté is a stock based sauce. So we're going to take the stock that we used in one of our early series videos and then we're going to also combine it with a roux from um, a recent video. So you can see how a velouté will be made. It's a very smooth sauce uh, used for all different applications. Chicken, beef, pork. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, I'm excited about this. I hope you are too. All right, let's go. Okay, so very simple ingredients for our velouté. We have the chicken stock, the one that we made in a previous video, and our roux, which we also made in a previous video. And then I always like to add and finalize it with a pat of butter just to make it nice and creamy. It's a very simple sauce. Uh, as you make derivatives, you add different things to it to change it. So what we're going to do is first of all we're going to bring this stock to a boil. Okay so we have our stock at a nice simmer ready to boil and what we'll do simply is just add our roux. Uh, by the way that was a half a cup of, of stock. We used a half a cup of stock and we're using about um, an ounce of a dark roux, uh, preferably a light roux but I personally like the flavor profiles in the dark roux, so that's why I use the dark roux for this. And what I like to do is I don't add it all at once. I add most of it or three quarters of it, and it starts to melt down and expand. And that kind of um, will show you the different viscosity or thickness of the sauce as you go along. You don't want it too thick, but um, I believe a ounce of roux should be nice amount for a half cup of stock but you can modify it you know if you like a thicker sauce or a thinner sauce just modify it to your liking and you just want to get that mix and you can see it's already starting to thicken so the combination of the stock with the roux and the heat will allow the glutens to expand and get a nice thick smooth silky sauce Okay, there it is. It's looking good now. You see that? Now, what I meant before about a derivative is um, taking a mother sauce, one of the five mother sauces that I mentioned. Um, you can use those sauces for a variety of different sauces. So you can just add flavors, or flavor profiles to the mother sauce, and you can have a different derivative. So if I added white wine, shallots, and mushrooms to this, I'd have a nice mushroom sauce. Okay. All right. And that kind of shows you how that roux made this sauce just beautiful. And I like to just finish it with a pat of butter. Put that in, and it just makes it nice and creamy at the very end. And you notice I'm not shy when it comes to good ingredients. So I put a nice pat of butter in there. And this is absolutely delicious. If you find that you have any kind of um, sediment or lumps, um, this method you really shouldn't, but if you do, just strain it. You have, still have a beautiful sauce. And there you have it. Just want to uh, give you a better look at this nice silky sauce. And you can see how nice that really is. All right, so here we have our velouté, and you can always tell a great sauce by how it coats the back of the spoon. Velute meaning velvet. It's very, very smooth. So uh, you can really personalize this sauce, make it your own. Here I have some seared or grilled chicken, and I'm going to just put a little bit of this velute on top. And also, we might even want a little bit on the rice. 
And look how creamy and smooth that is. It's just beautiful. And personalize this with uh, mushrooms, sauteed mushrooms, white wine, garlic, whatever you like. You can use the velouté to um, put a nice sauce on a great dish. Here we have a little grilled chicken with some plain rice, white rice, uh, some sauteed greens. We have some spinach with um, crushed red pepper. So it's a real nice dish. Um, so this gives you a pretty good idea. Enjoy. So that wraps up another segment of The Culinary Chemist here with Chef Neil. Delicious velouté. It's beautiful and it tastes fantastic. Where art meets science in the kitchen.